No matter where you go, people always seem to ask one question. Where can I find the best pizza? It's one of the world's most popular foods and with that comes so many options anywhere you go. So I decided to set out right here in Pittsburgh with the goal of finding the best pizza in the city. And so here we are. This video was bound to happen eventually and today is the day. We're gonna hit a bunch of different pizza places around the city, some of my favorites, uh, so you guys can get a good inside look at what the best pizza is in Pittsburgh. So just a fair warning, I am no pizza expert. However, I have had some of the world's best pizza trying New York City, New Haven, Connecticut, and even Rome. So I do know a thing or two about good pizza. So I've got two rules for the day to keep this as consistent as possible. We're going cheese pizza only, and then we're only doing places that offer slices. And I'm definitely bound to miss some places too, so drop a comment with your favorite pizza place in Pittsburgh. Let's run that up so we have a bunch of different places that everybody can choose from. So without further ado, let's kick things off right here at Fiori's, one of Pittsburgh's most famous spots for pizza. All right, they were super quick in here, but here is the slice of plain, so let's try it out. So I have come here before several different times. It's one of my favorite spots in the city, and I think a lot of people would probably say the same thing, but the cheese, really good, sauce, really good, and the crust and dough also, um, probably some of the best in the city. All right, we're ready for the official score. I probably give this a solid seven nine. Really good slice of pizza for Pittsburgh, so highly recommend coming to Fiori's. All right, so let's move on to our next place, which is super super close to here. All right, next up is Slice on Broadway, right here in Dormont. All right, so getting out of Slice on Broadway. Here's the slice, cost $2.50, uh, significantly bigger than Fiori's. So let's have a go. So I'm getting really similar vibes to Fiori's. Same type of pizza. Uh, the cheese is really good, sauce is pretty good, dough, not too bad either. Crust is, is decent. I think the crust of Fiori's might be a little bit better. All right, official score. It's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's quite as good as Fiori's, but I give it a solid 7.1. So not a bad score overall for a slice here in Dormont, Pittsburgh. All right, let's head over to the next place, which is also super close to right here. All right, we're at the next place here, Beto's, as you can see behind me. This one has a different twist to it, so let's dive right in. All right, so this is one of the most interesting places for pizza that you'll find. So they actually cook the pizza without cheese and then put cold cheese on top, as you can see right there. Really, really interesting, but let's have a go at it. So it's a super interesting slice of pizza. And I would say too that it's very Pittsburgh-esque. But all in all, the cheese is really, really good. Uh, the sauce, not bad. And the, the crust is, it's, it's okay. Uh, but the cheese is the main part to this slice of pizza. All right, we're ready for the official score. I'm gonna say this is a seven four. However, you have to really be one for this style of pizza. Uh, I can kind of go both ways, so I do really actually enjoy this. That's a pretty good slice, very different, which I think makes it unique. So really like what Beto's is doing, 7.4. All right, so now let's make our way over to Squirrel Hill where the next two places are super close to each other. All right, 
we've arrived in Squirrel Hill where our next two places happen to be separated by about 50 feet. So you can see behind me Minio's and then Alio's up the street. So let's start here at Minio's. All right, so we're outside Minio's. A slice in there cost two dollars. They give you two of these. So actually a pretty good deal. So let's dig in. So Minio's is one of the more well-renowned places for pizza in Pittsburgh. Uh, the battle is between here and Fiori's. That's kind of the more most popular uh, competition, I guess you could say. Um, the pizza though, the, the sauce, not my favorite. Cheese is decent and the dough is eh, it's average. Uh, so if I had to score it based upon the pizza that I have eaten throughout my life, I'd probably say it's a 6-8. Uh, so pretty much right down the middle. All right, so we're finishing up here. So now let's walk the 50 feet up the street to Alio's. All right, we're back in the same spot for Alio's. Uh, the seating is very limited uh, outside at 12 o'clock on a Saturday, but it costs $1.80 for one of these slices. So let's try it out. So right off the bat, it's super similar to Minio's. Uh, almost identical, very hard to tell the, the difference between the two, uh, but not bad. Uh, I would say, again, very average. If I had to score it, uh, I would probably say it's a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, again, really average, very, very similar to Minio's, uh, right along the lines of that. So, decent pizza, not the greatest, but not the worst. So, let's move on. All right, we've made our way into Lawrenceville to try out Driftwood Oven behind me here. So let's head on in. All right, we're outside of Driftwood Oven. Here's the slice. It runs you $3.25, so a little bit more pricey than the other places, but overall not too bad. So this pizza is Roman style, taking me back to the days when I was in Rome. So bringing back good memories. All right, we're ready for a score. So I do like Roman style pizza. Um, the sauce is good, cheese not bad. It's just right up my alley. So I would say, let's give this a 7.3. Pretty good pizza. So this is Driftwood, let's move on. All right, making our way further down the road and into the Strip District, we have next up on our list, Pizzeria Davide. So let's head on over and grab a slice. All right, we're outside. A really cool vibe out here. They got the Italian music going, but this is probably the most perfect slice of pizza I've seen thus far today. Um, our slice runs you 321, so not terrible. Let's have a go. All right, this hasn't taken me long. This is one of the best places for pizza in Pittsburgh, no question. Really good undercarriage too, which is key for good pizza. All right, let's have a score. I didn't think it would happen, but it did. We got into the eights. I'm gonna go eight four. This is definitely the best slice of pizza I've had today. Okay, I'm back in the south side for our final stop of the day. I've just about had enough pizza for today. This final place, Benny Fierro's, might just send me over the edge, but we gotta power through, so let's go on in. Final stop. Okay, this is no doubt the biggest slice of the day. Um, gigantic, bigger than my head. Uh, but a slice in Benny's costs $5, which is the most, but you definitely get the most pizza. So let's have a try.
This is definitely the most popular spot for pizza in the South Side. On Friday and Saturday nights in the fall, when the college students are back, there are lines out the door. So it makes for great drunk pizza, people coming out of the bars. Um, as you can see, super, super doughy, huge slices, really, really appealing. Okay, let's score it. So the cheese, pretty good, really cheesy. Sauce, not the greatest. Super, super doughy. So I'd probably say a 6.5. And that's sober, but when you're drunk, it's definitely a lot better. <laughs> All right, so let's pull up the final rankings. And as you can see right here, the winner of best pizza in Pittsburgh goes to Pizzeria Davide. That was by far the best slice of pizza that I had today. The outdoor area with the music made for a really great experience as well. But if there are any other places that you think I left out, please drop a comment with them below because I'll have to get to them next. All right, that's gonna do it for this video on the best pizza in Pittsburgh. I'm about to go and do a food coma. I've had so much pizza today, but definitely worth it. So thanks as always for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next week.